Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. All right, 81 degrees, and I think we're probably on our way to a temperature very similar to yesterday, 85, 86 degrees. Uh, dew point values creeping up there at 69. Said yesterday, today would be kind of a transition day to a high humidity day on Friday, and that's exactly what we're starting to see. East wind continues at about 8, but as that wind starts shifting to the south, eventually to the southwest, it is going to just funnel the moisture back in here tomorrow. And tomorrow's going to end up being a very sticky day, also a much better day for chances of rain showers around as well. Uh, we are watching the temperatures climb today, as I mentioned, to about 85 under fairly rain free conditions by 3 o'clock. But as we head into the evening, uh, the rain chances are actually going to go up. Now, normally, as the sun begins to fade, you would expect those rain chances to start to drop, but they're going to go up because we'll have a frontal boundary coming our way. That's going to be a warm front. That's front number one. It's just offshore right now, kind of forming a line of showers parallel to our coast, but gradually drifting in this direction, all part of a Warm front wrapping up around a low pressure area, trailing down as a cold front into the western Gulf waters. A very classic presentation of a mid-latitude storm. Something we haven't seen much of yet, but we will be seeing plenty of as the winter progresses. This is really the, the first real good low pressure area that we have seen. And it's going to bring us, as I mentioned, a little bit of extra cloud cover as we head into the later afternoon and evening. Right now, everything is quiet on radar, but that will change. Low pressure area producing lots of rain in the northern Gulf Coast. That's probably where the heaviest of the rain is going to fall in the northern Gulf Coast in the deep south. The trailing cold front setting up a line of showers, which we will watch. But right now, the Storm Prediction Center believes that the heaviest of the weather will be just to our north, and that makes sense. That's where the energy for this storm will be. So we'd expect to see the biggest potential of some strong gusty winds in North Florida, maybe an isolated tornado or two even possible in extreme North Florida or coastal Carolinas. So the warm front comes through this evening, brings a chance of rainfall. The cold front comes through tomorrow evening, brings another chance of rainfall, maybe even a thunderstorm or two. Winds shift around to the northwest, and we draw down some drier, cooler air. And that'll last for, well, at least through Monday till the next front comes through and brings another reinforcing shot of cooler air. So here's kind of the timing. The future cast shows the line of showers associated with the warm front lifts north so that by this evening around drive time that'll be on our doorstep, it'll tend to kind of fall apart as it encounters the drier air. So not expecting too much out of that, but it will usher in some more moisture. And tomorrow we stay in this moist air and it's scattered shower almost any time possible. The next line of showers, that's our cold front and it'll be through here by late in the day or early in the morning rather on Saturday by midnight uh, tomorrow, but mostly around Friday drive time through around eight, nine o'clock is our best potential for seeing some showers. Then once that's through wind shift, the drier air moves in and I'll tell you what, we may see a little bit of cloud cover, may see a sprinkle around early Saturday morning, but by Saturday mid morning, early afternoon and all day Sunday, just delightful weather in store for us. And it's the first of about a week's worth of beautiful weather. Southwest wind comes in at about 5 to 10. I will say that when that cold front starts to get a little bit closer, the winds are going to pick up. That will occur on Friday, so we'll watch for small craft advisories, two foot seas, light chop, and the forecast shaping up like this. We'll have today a 30% chance of late showers. Tomorrow, about a 50% chance of scattered showers here and there throughout the day. And then that line of showers later in the evening moving through a breezy day. Saturday and Sunday, we clear out high temperature about 80, lower relative humidity, cool, crisp nights. Monday, another front comes through, reinforcing that dry air with a high of 78 on Tuesday. Again, nighttime lows in the 60s and trick or treat time looks pretty darn nice for the kids. Back to you.